This week, the story of one man who has dropped everything in his life, moved to a different country, and is spending 14 hours a day, seven days a week, to pause AI. Now my goal, I think, 14 hours a day, I think that's, uh, that's manageable given the circumstance, given the environment. So that's, that's what we are looking at now. Uh, I, I, I want to test to push my limits, you know, trying to be a truth seeker when the truth could really, really suck. That's hard. Um, but it matters if you want to find a strategy that would actually have impact. Like a strategy given 10-year ten, ten timelines uh, would not be optimal for like three-year timelines and so on. So I think that this is a kind of necessary exercise if you want to have impact. But as you approach someone about it or as someone who is new to it thinks about it, right? There's like this place they get to and I, I'm so sympathetic to it because I, I understand it and I think it makes sense where they're like, wait a minute, I'm a smart person. I read the newspaper. I watch the news. I look at my phone. How could you know about this thing that no one in my government and no one on my news is talking oh, yeah. about that is so important. Who are you to think you know more than I know? This is ridiculous. I'm moving on. Like, it's, I, I don't know. I'd be like, you know what? That's a probably, that's a solid argument. <laughs> yeah. If I meet that sort of resistance, then I would also probably move on because, you know, we could have these interesting disagreements, but we need to gain members and uh, allies really fast. And, you know, right. so we want to find the ones that are already aligned with us. I think that's kind of the algorithm that we want to shoot for. How do we decide which is the most effective argument? And if our real concern is existential risk, but we believe that job loss or terrorism might be a faster tool to get more people interested, how do we make the choice of which argument to pick up for which audience at what time? This is a real challenge. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. I think that this is def definitely a conversation to have strategically, but my short answer would be, we really want to uh, talk to each audience. We, we want to, you know, tailor the communications to each audience pretty carefully. I, I think that, you know, probably yeah. religious people would be interested uh, in, in our mission and likewise, taxi drivers and artists, but we, you know, should we, should we propose, should we like suggest X risks to any of those? Or could we just onboard them without mentioning X risk? I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, this is, you know, uh, research, more research is needed on this question. But I think that, you know, um, X risk is a really big pill to swallow for people.